Well, howdy. Pastor Karen here with our midweek devotional. And if you want to pull up your Bible or get your uh, paper Bible out and look the passage up that we're going to talk about, it is Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm using this passage because it is one of the American Baptist women theme scriptures for this year. And I'd like to talk about not just Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 8, which is the key verse, but I'd like to look at verses 5 through 8 because we get a comparison. And I think it's really helpful for us to think about two people, one cursed and one blessed, and be able to see both sides of what God is telling Jeremiah in this chapter. So first of all, I'm going to read verses 5 and 6, and then we'll talk about that. Then I'll read 7 and 8, talk about that, see what we can learn from the prophet Jeremiah. This is what the Lord says. Cursed is the one who trusts in man, who draws strength from mere flesh, and whose heart turns away from the Lord. That person will be like a bush in the wastelands. They will not see prosperity when it comes. They will dwell in the parched places of the desert in a salt land where no one lives. Well, this doesn't really paint a wonderful picture for our lives, does it? It says the person who trusts in humankind is cursed. And that if we try to draw strength from people, it just doesn't work. If we're not focused towards the Lord, it's not going to be our best life. And the scripture also compares this unbelief, this trust in humans instead of God. They talk about it as if they are dwelling in the desert, in the salt land. That doesn't sound like much fun to be parched, to not have the water we need, to not have that living water that we know Jesus gives us. So we get a picture that is well painted of what it looks like to not follow God. So let's look at the positive side of this example in verses 7 and 8. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. What a contrast. A dry, parched bush and a lush green leaf, pleasant tree. Huh. Interesting, isn't it? Some folks love the sun, love to be out in it. But I'm not really one of those folks. I've always liked the shade. I want to be where it's cool. And to me, this vision is clear. I don't want to be out in the hot desert alone. I want to be in the cool with God. I want to be in the shade under that tree with green leaves looking to God for my help. This passage is urging us to realize that we make a decision to follow God or not follow God, even if we don't consciously make it all the time. Our actions show that really our heart has decided to trust in God, to have confidence and faith, or to turn away from God and live that desert life. Warren Wearsby, one of my favorite Bible commentary guys, he says, the heart of every problem is the problem in the heart. Isn't that great? Man, that's wise. The heart of every problem is the problem in the heart. How true is that? If I think back about problems, if I think about problems I'm having right now, the reason I have a problem with another person, with a situation, is because what's going on in my heart. I may be conflicted about 
how to deal with somebody or how to help someone. I might be conflicted about which bills to pay or how to deal with uh, the stay at home order during this coronavirus time. It's what goes on in the heart and God sees that. And God wants to help us to love him and trust him instead of relying on ourselves. We like to rely on ourselves. We like to do everything on our own, get it done and be proud of that accomplishment. But it is a gift that we can give to others to let them help us sometimes. And it is a way to share community in this time of isolation by helping others and letting others help us. Don't be in that desert wasteland ignoring God. Come to God. Talk to God. Get your strength. Remember your belief. Trust in your faith. It's a tough time right now. You might be laid off. That's no fun. You may be overworked in your job because there's too much to be done. You may feel that you're doing things that are risky by being around those who might have the coronavirus. Or you might feel so isolated you're almost willing to go take that chance. But wherever you are in this situation in your life now, my hope is that you're not going to be out in the desert, but you're going to be that green leafed tree that has trust and confidence and faith in God. We know that we can. It's just a matter of taking that step and saying, yes, Lord, I'm going to follow you because I know your way leads to nice streams of water, things that will refresh and refill, not the desert wasteland filled with sand and tumbleweeds and dryness. I hope that this short little video and I hope that this short little passage will go a long way towards encouraging you and helping you just to keep putting one foot in front of the other every day, just to keep trying. Even if you feel like you're not doing anything, you're not achieving your goals, you could very well be growing on the inside with God's help. You could very well be just letting your soul grow during this time. Sometimes we need to expect less and find we come out with much more with God's help. Oh, and that's another thing, perhaps the thing to end on. God is always there to help us. No matter what the situation, good or bad, healthy, sick, overwork, underwork, God promises to be with us always. Doesn't say he's going to fix it all. Doesn't, gonna, doesn't say it's all going to be okay 100% of the time. But to know God is with us in the midst of it, whatever happens is so helpful. It's been an encouragement in my life. I hope it'll be an encouragement in your life. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. Have a good week and God bless.